Good boy, Rowdy. They have bacon peanut butter options, and normally that's what he goes for, but. Rowdy says the only thing that would make this place better is if they had dog beer. What's good, YouTube? It's Lewis and Rowdy Gusto. Welcome back to New York City. Whether you're moving to Manhattan with your dog or just visiting with your pooch, Rowdy and I want you to have the best day ever. So Rowdy's got a full day's agenda planned with the best dog-friendly cafes, restaurants, and the best dog parks in Manhattan. So if you're ready, you can tell Rowdy is. Go ahead and finesse that like button and let's explore New York City. We are back at 787 Coffee, this time in Nomad. The last time we featured 787 Coffee, we were in Fidei, and I promised you that I would have to come back to try that Coquito Latte. Next time I'm gonna have to try that Coquito Latte though. Well, today is the day, my friends. There is a little bit of dairy, but I did get it with oat milk. Also got a quesito. This is the guava one. Rowdy might get a little taste of this. We'll see. I don't know if dogs like guava or not. All right, quesito. This is the Coquito Latte with the rum-infused espresso. In addition to serving authentic Puerto Rican coffee, having some dope decor and some really cool drinks, 787 Coffee is also dog-friendly. So that's why Rowdy wanted to come through. They have treats, a dog bowl out front, and he's sitting comfortably next to me on this bench, waiting for the moment where he could take a little lick of this Coquito Latte. I was looking at all the photos that I saw on Facebook of dogs enjoying themselves at all the various 787 locations. I knew that Rowdy needed to know about this place because I knew he was gonna have so much fun. I got myself a rum-infused oat latte, and I can't wait to try it. Time for the quesito. 787 Coffee has a few locations throughout New York. We are in the Nomad location today. I gotta say, this Coquito Latte is phenomenal. The coffee drinks that they sell here are among the best that I've ever had in my whole life. We're currently in Madison Square Park with beautiful trees, some native plants. Within Madison Square Park, you have Jemmy's Dog Run and Rowdy is so hyped. He wants to go in and run around and meet some of the other dogs here. Let's go. All right, we're heading into Jemmy's Dog Run with Rowdy. This is Rowdy's first time in a dog park. He's so hyper right now. Just pulling and pulling. He loves meeting all the New York City pigeons. One of the things we love most about New York City is that there are beautiful parks everywhere and new yorkers actually come to the parks they read sit and eat hang out with their friends walk their dogs most parks all across the country you don't see as much of that rowdy had so much fun in the small dog section he was running all around everywhere making so many friends oh my gosh he was having the time of his life Dog and Bone Tavern is on 3rd Avenue and 25th Street, inspired by an English bulldog named Winston. Dog and Bone is actually an East London term that means phone. So we're here with Rowdy. He got himself a pupper cup. They had a peanut butter and a bacon option for the doggy ice cream, but he really wanted salmon today. Larissa and I ordered the fish and chips to go along with Rowdy's salmon ice cream. Inside they have a whole English theme. It's really dope. So we're about to get into these fish and chips. Rowdy's already enjoying his pupper cup. It's still frozen, so he's waiting for it to melt a little bit. Fish and chips. Mm. If you're gonna have an English pub, no matter where it is, you gotta have fish and chips on the menu. Trying one of the chips. Got a nice salt and pepper seasoning on it. The fish and chips comes with a side of mushy peas. We also got some rosé, because we're celebrating today. Rowdy's day out all around Manhattan, having the time of his life. Beautiful sidewalk cafe here at Dog and Bone. Rowdy really enjoyed his pepper cup. We enjoyed our fish and chips, and it was so cool to see all the dogs that joined us on the sidewalk cafe. This is a perfect place to bring your dog in Manhattan. 
Rowdy says that if you're enjoying this film and want to see more just like it, hit that red subscribe button. It's red, just like his leash. Our next step is Petopia, because of course, Rowdy already went and ate all of his treats. We got some chicken breast strips for him. Anything flavored chicken, Rowdy's a huge fan of, so we're gonna see how he likes these. The perfect dog day in Manhattan continues at Boris and Horton here in the East Village. This is New York's first Department of Health approved dog-friendly cafe. And there are dogs running around off the leash here. You can also come and study, read, just hang out and chill. We ordered a couple of mid-afternoon caffeine drinks. I got a matcha latte, and Narissa got an iced tea. Rowdy, on the other hand, got a little snack. A donut with some peanut butter and oat flour. He's gonna try it right now. It's basically like an indoor dog park, except you can get coffee, tea, and snacks, plus food for your dog. They also sell treats here, and they have a little gift station. We're gonna try that out after. I think Roddy's getting a little tired because we've been taking him everywhere. He can't keep up, clearly, <laughs> even with the donut to energize him. <laughs> We are back at Torch and Crown Brewery. They were established in 2018, and guess what? They are Manhattan's only production brewery and restaurant, and they're also dog friendly. We came here for the NYC food tour we did last summer. Rowdy said that if it's dog friendly, it's good enough for him. You can't bring your dog inside the restaurant, but you can bring them to the side yard or their outdoor seating area on the street. But we wanted to be in the side yard where all the action is. Nurse and I love Torch and Crown the first time we came. We're also gonna get some food this time around, and Rowdy's just gonna be chilling here he's not quite old enough to have some beer. If you have dogs and you're in Manhattan, whether you live here or whether you're just visiting, you can have a great time all across the island. That's endorsed by Rowdy. We are about to sample some of Torch and Crown's best beers. We're also gonna order a little bit of food. They have oysters, chicken wings, and hamburgers. I think we're gonna go for the cheeseburger this time. It's just been so much fun. Rowdy wants us to eat well and have some good beers. This is the Utility. It is a cream ale. We're kicking off summer with some dog-friendly recommendations right here in New York City. Salud. I ordered the Expert Ambassador. A fruit is sour. I love sours, so let's try it. New York is such a dog-friendly city. It's been so incredible to have Rowdy hanging out with us, eat and drink and have such a great time. He has been able to have a ton of dog treats, which we don't usually spoil him with on a normal basis. Rowdy says the only thing that would make this place better is if they had dog beer. This is the Lou Burger. It's two patties, cheddar cheese, onion, special sauce, pickles, all on a potato bun. I had to get it because it's the Lou Burger. Burgers and beer, always a winning combination. Tastes even better when you're in Manhattan with your dog by your side, just chilling, perfect dog day, kicking off summer the right way. Let us know if you want more dog-friendly recommendations in Chicago or New York City. Peace and blessings.